Ahoy and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. So today I'm back with another video for Valiant Fireside Accessories and again my code from the previous video I did on the Remora is still working so if you want 25% off of anything on Valiant's website you can use JAS002 so you can use that code to get anything at 25% off. So at this time of year, it's a good time to be thinking about doing a service on your multi-fuel stove. So buying things like cleaner and paint, all of those things Valiant sells. If you don't have a multi-fuel, this is a great time to think about getting one in before you actually need one. Um, so yes, that's what I'd recommend. Go and check out Valiant Fireside accessories for that if you're thinking about that at the moment you can get 25% off of everything that they sell except for having a man to come and look at your stuff now let's get on to what I'm here to talk about so I'm here to review this barbecue which is the Nomad folding barbecue and the other thing I'm going to be reviewing is this which is the Outlaw uh, barbecue multi-tool so it comes in this little pouch it has a little hook if you want to pop it on your belt and it is like crazy. It's like the Swiss army knife of barbecue tools. So we'll start with this since I've got it here. Um, so it's got obviously a spatula and then it's also got this. I'm not quite sure what to call this, but I really like this tool. I was using it to put it in between the prongs to turn my sausages. And also I used it to spike the sausages so they don't explode. So this actually, I really like this. Very good for sausages also got a nice heavy duty knife which is always useful uh, for opening packages and cutting up meat and things and cutting up uh, halloumi also and it's got a wine opener so it says online that it has six uses so that is four of them now the other two I'm not so sold on so this here this hole in the spatula, I think is supposed to be the bottle opener. Didn't figure this out till today, so I haven't actually opened any bottles with it. But my, my, my problem with this is that, what if this spatula is covered in meat juices? Do you really want to use that to open your bottle? What if, like me, you've ended up at a barbecue with lots of vegetarians? This could be a problem. Now, the other thing that they say is that you can use this when you do this which I think is so cool it becomes two so I really like that element I quite liked just using them as two separate things so what me of the past had gotten wrong was how to use the tongs so I'm here to show you that so you split it into two and then pull this one out so you've got this bigger hole and this bigger hole pop them in like that and the first time you really got to force it but after that they come together as tongs quite well. So I have to say for the four uses I mentioned at the beginning I think this is a fantastic tool really really good it's only £19.99 and with my discount £15 so I think that's a really good little thing to have. Um, I also would say that if you're having a barbecue with meat eaters you're probably going to be fine using this it's just that I know a lot of vegetarians so that's my take on this and frankly if you're going to buy any tool for your barbecue you might as well get the one that is every tool you could possibly need next I'm going to be reviewing the nomad folding barbecue so we do actually have a folding barbecue before this one it's a bit rubbish and it's not very safe but it was much cheaper than this one this one we this one is 50 pounds on their website and oh my gosh can we just get into like the 80s power move briefcase moment that i feel every time i pick this up it's like i'm going on business with someone what i feel like is i want to meet somebody else who has a suitcase full of coal and have a barbecue in suits in the middle of the city like, I don't know why, it's just my sort of 80s power move fantasy barbecue moment. Purse fires, purse fires, walk to the room, purse fires. Purse fires, purse fires, walk to the room, purse fires. It is a known fact that a woman do carry your evening bag at dinner time. 
Anyway, back to the review. So aside from the fact that it looks very cool, uh, one thing I really like about this barbecue is that because it has these legs and it folds out to a V like this, there's about this far between the bottom of the, um, well, be between the floor and the actual coals because the coals sit in a little basket on the top. When with our previous barbecue, the entire barbecue would get really, really hot. And what we would have to do is have a little wooden table and then we'd have a marble uh, chopping board. And then on top of that, we'd have the barbecue. Um, so because we don't want to scorch the ground of wherever we're having the barbecue, because that's always when you're on a narrow boat going to be someone else's property, uh, unless obviously you have your own home mooring. Um, so the thing that's really nice about this is you don't have to worry about any of that when you're starting your barbecue you can just chuck it on the ground and away you go um, and there's not ever been any scorch marks with this and actually the entire barbecue apart from the one tiny little section where all of the coals are stays relatively cold um, whereas with the other one we'd have to wait for two hours for the whole thing to cool down to be able to do anything with it so that's a massive advantage of this one. Uh, everything that's needed for it fits inside it, even the multi-tool. Um, and it's very light as well. So if you wanted to take it for a walk and then have a barbecue wherever you ended up, you could do that quite easily. The other thing is because it folds out into a V, there's loads and loads of room for airflow to go around the coals and it also has a grill inside the area for the coals so that your coals are lifted and there's even some airflow going underneath them so that is really means that it's much easier to light this barbecue and it also means that it stays hot and you don't have to keep blowing on it and spending hours looking after it which I know some people like, but I find incredibly tedious. It's quite easy to put up. I did use the instructions the first time, but it's actually really like the kind of thing that you could figure out on your own if you didn't have the instructions. It works relatively easily, folds down easily. It's made of stainless steel, so it cleans really easily as well. The only negative point I have on the barbecue is that the top where you put all the food which is actually quite large, I have to say. I'm really impressed by that as well. We managed to have one half for vegetarians and one half for meat eaters. Um, but occasionally, just one corner of it would flip underneath the bit that it rests on, and that was not ideal. But they also provide you with little tongs so you can adjust the top without having to burn your fingers or whatever, and they work very well. And we didn't lose any food because of it. It was still very stable. It was just like, oh, we better keep an eye on that. So I'd recommend anybody who's looking for a nice folding barbecue for their boat to go ahead and get the Nomad folding barbecue from Valiant. Um, it's much better than our previous folding barbecue. And I think very safe and easy to put together, easy to look after. I'm gonna keep it on the boat and see how it's doing next year so I can let you know, but so far, very, very good. So that's my reviews of the two. What I'm gonna quickly do now is come back to what I previously reviewed for them, the Remora. If you wanna see the full review, I'll put a link in the description, but I'll just let you know that we've gotten rid of our other eco fan because the Remora is actually much better. It's still magnetized to the flue of the chimney. It works much faster and we don't need the other one because the Remora is doing the job better. Really happy with that. If you are looking for an ecofan, uh, again, you'll be able to use the, the code as well as if you decide to buy the barbecue, as well as if you choose to buy the outlaw multi-tool, um, as well as any of their safety stuff or their maintenance stuff for, bar for, for multi-fuels and stoves and all their winter summer range. Um, so yeah, check out the Valiant Fireside website. I'll put a link in the description. And thank you so much for watching. If you would like to join us again, you can click subscribe down below. I'll be back next week with some more island hopping. And um, thank you so much for watching. If you would like to watch us again, click subscribe down below. If you'd like to, you can hop on over to Facebook where I do post the videos and let me know in the description of your best summer barbecues this year. If you want to comment anything else, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day and stay awesome. Bye.